Years after Jane came to New Mexico, she remembered her first time in Taos. We traveled through Old World Santa Fe up to Taos, climbing the narrow road of the Rio Grande Gorge. The first sight of the vast Taos Plateau left us breathless and still does. Two weeks camping in Taos Canyon revealed the endless subject matter for an artist, as it has to many artists before us. Artists are storytellers. Sometimes the story is, is not a linear one or even a one with uh, a lot of detail, uh, if it's abstract enough. Sometimes, as in the case of, of Jean, it's, it's very detailed and, and very exacting. And she may give us, at the inner best work, a chance to be in that moment with her. I met Jean a few times, and I came to know her because I did a show with her at the Harwood Museum, uh, the last one-person show she would have during her lifetime. And I think the thing that really came across about her was that she was just one of the most lovely people I ever met. Uh, I got to observe her a little bit with her and her husband, Phillips. He was not in particularly good shape by the time I met them, but she was just so kind and gentle with him in his extreme old age. Jean seemed to have a, a, um, certainly a certain humility about herself. You probably wouldn't have guessed that she was as popular as she was. Uh, in fact, not a, there would have been no way to know that because she didn't... Uh, she didn't make any big deal of that at all. She did her work, she was proud of the work. Jean did something very interesting. I'd never seen it before with any artist. She priced, purposely priced her work under market value. She wanted to make it accessible to as many people as possible. So the role of the artist is to depict whatever they feel it, it represents truth. Jean depicted uh, the life of the people as she saw it at the time, centering this in the 1930s. So pre-World War II, the economy in New Mexico was very different than it was afterward. And in some ways, she was capturing something that had been around for centuries. What she saw and what she recorded in her own memory, she then has passed down to us, something that we can't know firsthand. And yet, in looking in detail at some of these scenes, uh, uh, people in front of the St. Francis Church in Ranchos, or uh, Native American people in the fields working, uh, things that were very um, contemporary to her, she was able to convey to us uh, the uh, beauty and, and uh, honor of a, of a particular time in New Mexico's history. One of the things that happened when the, uh, these Anglo artists moved into New Mexico is that they discovered light. Here, it's the, the contrast of dark and light, the stark contrast, which so stands out in Jean's work and, and that of many of the other artists from that time. When I see certain scenes in the mountains in certain uh, moments of light, it makes me think of a particular artist and how that artist depicted light in the same way. So in some of Jean's work, when I see these beams of light coming through Right away, I know that I've seen that scene before. Not that exact tree or that person, but that quality of light that she's captured is something that's familiar to me and familiar to anybody else who's lived here for very long. We see uh, 
not just the nostalgic past, but also certain conditions of light and weather that are uh, very much still part of our experience of this place. Gene is really a master of perspective. You get a sense of the distance receding away from you, uh, which is very important in her work. Sometimes it's people receding into light, sometimes it's mountains receding into darkness. But perspective is, is really a vital part of what she was up to as an artist. that it was an interesting place, and still is, uh, has always been a place where uh, women, who happened to be artists, uh, got more attention than other places. Taos was a place where a talent was really, a artistic talent really was appreciated. And, um, there were some disputes between the modernists and the representational artists. They didn't always recognize each other's work as as good as it was. So there was that, but maybe less, uh, but more bias in that way than there was over gender. So that Jean was recognized uh, as a significant artist in her own time in Taos. There oftentimes is no way to connect to the past or no real uh, visceral way of connecting to the past other than through the images that the artists have uh, bequested to us, really. And uh, uh, Jane is one of those artists that gives us a connection to that past in New Mexico that continues to be, it's very important that we understand it. Some of it comes from ancient buildings or the eternal landscape. Some of it comes from the uh, the creative imagination of artists, including Jean, uh, who also had that, that sense of, of history and who knows how to convey it, I believe. Mm -hmm.